Hello there boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of the Arsenal Save on FM18 and uh, we're just going to go straight into it really, a lot of catching up to do before the two, the big game against Madrid today, as you can see last time we played was against uh, Hapo Abea Shiva and we won 4-1 but we've played quite a few games since then. Six clean sheets on the bounce since that game against Hapoel Beersheba. And uh, lots of wins as well. So, followed that up with a 1-0 away win against Everton. Came from the penalty spot. Alexander Lacazette picking the uh, picking the spot and uh, scoring the goal for us. Then followed that up with a 4-0 win. Pretty comfortable really, to be fair. Uh, against Preston, away from home. Barardi with a penalty. Moussa Dembele with two. Sung Hyung Min with another one. Danny Welbeck picking up an injury there, as you can see. And again, another 1-0 win in the league against Brighton. A little bit of a rotated side. Uh, Moussa Dembele scoring yet again in the 34th minute. We then played Roma, our second game in the Champions League. And we beat them 2-0. Sung Hyung Min after 76 minutes. And then Alexander Lacazette after the uh, 80th minute mark. Tough game for us, really. Came out really strong. Our defence doing really, really well. Czech 7.0, Bellerin 7.0, uh, Mustafi 7.1, Laporte 7.2. And Kalesniak with a 7.4. Again, another 1-0 win against Leeds because we're highly rotating the squad here because we're playing game after game, mid one, in, one on the weekend, one in midweek, one on the weekend again. So we're having to rotate the side so people don't get injured. But as you can see, another couple of injuries. Ozil and Ramsey picking up little knocks. And, uh, but again, 1-0 win, another penalty, Alexander Lacazette on the 36th minute. And then a nice win, 2-0 win against uh, Watford. And uh, Lacazette again scoring the goals and Iwobi on the 55th minute. Pretty much all in all, a very good uh, win. Lamar with a 9.0 in that game. Awesome stuff. Where does that leave us in all the competitions? So it leaves us top of the table. Uh, we we, uh, we drew against City last uh, last time out. And uh, we, we are now three points clear of them in the league. They did drop some points, as did United. So we are now top of the league by three points. Alexander Lacazette with six goals so far this season. We're in the fourth round of the uh, Carabao Cup. We've got Burnley coming up away from home. But again, I'm not really too fussed about that. I'm going to play some rotation players and some youngsters. And then in the uh, in the Champions League, massive game today. We're going to be playing Madrid. Madrid are top by goal difference, both on six points. Two wins out of two. And the other two teams really struggling uh, for some points and for some form in this competition. Look at the medical centre. And look at the current injuries. The only one we've got out is uh, Meza Udzo. He's twisted his ankle. He's out for another couple of weeks. Um, purely because, even though his expected return is on the 25th, which is tomorrow in game. But it takes another, a good couple of weeks to get him back up to full fitness. Don't want to rush him into that at all. Right then, big game against Madrid. And then we're going to follow that up with a game against Villa in the uh, in the league. Both at home, both at the Emirates. And let's see who's going to be in our starting lineup. So we're going to have checking goal, Kolesniak, Laporte, Mustafi and Bellerin, that famous back five that won us the league last season. Xhaka and Goretzka in the middle of midfield. Their little kind of uh, chemistry bar is slowly appearing, which is good to see. Lamar on the left-hand side with a good little chemistry bar for Kolesniak. Bellerin and Iwobi as well. Iwobi on the right-hand side as the winger. Actually might play him as the inside forward. And then Wilshere with Lacazette up top. Again, another, uh, another chemistry bar coming into uh, focus there. Brought um, Lacazette back instead of a, a complete forward on attack, complete forward on support, and that's why we've probably been scoring as many goals, or he's been scoring as many goals as he did uh, in the last few games. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's see who's in this um, really, really big Madrid side. Uh, they're coming to the Emirates. They're coming into London for this game. So they've got Benzema up top, and Ronaldo, Isco, and Bale behind him. Tony Cruz and uh, Kovacic in the uh, midfield. We've got Marcelo on the left, Carvajal on the right. Sergio Ramos and uh, Rafael Varane in the middle. And they have the big man, Gianluigi, Gianluigi Buffon in goal. When did they pick him up? Wow. They picked him up this season on a free. What a free transfer to come in. 40-year-old Buffon. And he's still immense in the, uh, in the net. Um, awesome, awesome uh, signing for, uh, for Madrid. On the bench, Odegaard. They've got Modric, Vallejo, Marlos. So they've got a very good bench as well. It's going to be a tough game for us. Pick up where we left off last time. We came off, coming off the back of a really good win against uh, against Watford. And uh, really just want them to pick up where they left off. Got a lot of faith in them, in the midfield, in the defence. And certainly with Alexander Lacazette, he's uh, scoring goals yet again this season. But Kips keeps getting being, uh, being missed out by the French side. Which is good for us because at the end of the day, he keeps fresh. 
for uh, for the Arsenal, which is good. Hands on heart, I would take a draw right now. Uh, it's a it's a good point at home against Madrid, and then we need to go to Madrid in a couple of weeks' time and hopefully get another positive result there as well. Uh, we are on the attack, though. Five minutes in. Kolesniak into Xhaka, into Goretzka. We get Goretzka goes straight through to Lacazette, but Ramos is there, and they're going to try and uh, break on us, but Mustafi cuts that ball out to Benzema. Laporte now over to Thomas Lamar, and he's just going to take Carvajal on for pace, and he does. Takes him on, whips the ball in, trying to find Lacazette, but Sergio Ramos is there again. Becomes big, and Laporte doing a good job on uh, Benzema. Benzema now down this right-hand side, into Gareth Bale. Can he take Take a shot. Gareth Bale on his left out. Yes, he does. On his left peg. He's always going to shoot from there. And Gareth Bale has put Madrid 1-0 up. Um, a good counter-attacking goal for Madrid. I thought Laporte had done enough for uh, to keep Benzema on the on the outside. But Bale coming up on the on the inside. Draws two men out. Bale on his left peg. He's always going to shoot. And now what a hit that was by Gareth Bale. 1-0 to Madrid. Five minutes gone. Still, still early yet. We can still get back into this. Marcello now. Tries to hoof the ball down to uh, to Benzema, but we get it uh, get it under control. Lamar now on this left hand side going to take Carvajal on yet again. He's got him done for pace. Going to get the ball in. He he hesitates, gets the ball in into Iwobi, but Buffon is there. Good header by uh, Alex Iwobi on target, um, but all in all not the best. Lamar going to whip the ball in. Highlight after highlight. Oh, La Laporte with a great hit, and I think Buffon got the ball and tipped it onto the bar. We're coming back into this game ever so slowly. They've only had that one chance. And uh, we seem to be dominating this game. Wilshere now out to Lamar. He's got the beating of the uh, of the right back, Carver Howe. Wilshere into Goretzka. Goretzka finds a Wobi. He's got that overlap with Bellerin. Is he going to use it? No, he's not. He's going to take the man on into, uh, into Lacazette. Lacazette shoots. Buffon saves. And he pushes it out to Thomas Lamar. And it's one all now. What a, uh, what a way to come back into this game. Uh, Goretzka... Finds Iwobi on this right-hand side. And Bellerin's absolutely busting along to get down here to try the overlap. Doesn't need him. Goes into uh, Lacazette. And uh, that's unlucky by Buffon. He pushes the ball out. And Lamar's there just to tap it in. One apiece. 17 minutes gone. Coming into the final five minutes of the half. Roma are 2-0 up against Hapoel. Uh, they'll probably win that pretty comfortably, to be fair. Um, but we're going to draw into the uh, into the halftime one apiece. Some of their players looking rather tired. Isco not having the best of games. Cristiano Ronaldo not having the best of games either. And Bale flagging a little bit. We have lost possession in the middle of the midfield, so we might need to strengthen. Might just might need to tweak a few things in the uh, in the tactics. Going to go to the team talk and just keep it calm. Um, been unlucky so far, which we have. And then we're going to select the individual areas of players. Calmly say, you weren't that bad. I've got faith in you to turn it around in that second half. Dominated, really. Madrid haven't really given given us too many problems other than that one attack which they've scored from. Um, look like they're trying to slowly come out of attack a little bit. Um, right, let's go into the tactics. So we're just going to say short pass, short passing for uh, Xhaka. Same again for Goretzka. Fewer riskier passes from him. Because we were losing the uh, losing the battle in the uh, middle of the park. Anything else we need to work on? Lost possession, struggle for possession, no possession stuff. No, we're going to keep it exactly the same, other than those little changes in the middle of midfield. Tony Crows and uh, and Kovacic doing a really good job in the middle of midfield for them. Uh, but seem to be tightening us up. Jack Walsh is probably going to come off. Kolesniak now with a throw in on this left hand side. Iwobi, Iwobi goes back to Klesnak, into Xhaka, Xhaka into Wilshire, into Goretzka, lovely little one-two play, comes out to Lacazette and he scores, but I think he was offside, yes he was, keeps it one all, Lamar now straight after that chance, tries to find the ball in the middle and uh, Carver Howes pushed Lacazette and uh, it looks like it's a penalty now, the uh, Madrid players surrounding the uh, referee, Lacazette is going to step up one-on-one -on -one with Gianluigi Buffon, can he put us in the lead? Here we go, Lacazette and Buffon makes the save. Good save by Buffon. Lacazette going one on one with the uh, the the giant of an Italian, and uh, he pushes it clear. Wilshire now back to uh, Kolesniak. Kolesniak into Wilshire, back to Xhaka. They're pressing pressing us really well, Madrid, and we go all the way out to Bellerin. Bellerin now is going to drive forward into the into the box. He does finds Lamar at the back post, so probably a little bit overhit the cross. Goes back to Klesniak. The ball into the back post. It won't be there. 2-1 to the Arsenal. 10 minutes into the second half. And we've turned this game around. We've absolutely dominated Los Blancos. As you can see, the, the stats on the right-hand side. Bellerin over-hit his cross, really. Lamar 
Great anticipation and picking that ball back up. Goes back out to Klesniak. First time cross. Back post. Iwobi is there. The missed penalty means absolutely nothing. Two on to Arsenal. Great result so far. Lamar with a corner. Ten minutes to go. Into Mustafi. Oh, Mustafi just headers over. We've absolutely dominated from the start. 17 shots compared to their three. Lamar, another free kick. Highlight after highlight here. Into Goretzka. Goretzka finds Lacazette on that right-hand side. Goes down. Into Iwobi. And Iwobi is there again. Moved him into the middle. Sung Hyung Min came in on that right-hand side. He's inside forward. And Iwobi puts us 3-1 up. Two goals clear now. And uh, it looks like we're, uh, we're heading for three points against a really good... Madrid side coming into the final few minutes now into injury time Lamar is going to get this ball into Ramsey into Goretzka Goretzka back to Ramsey Ramsey into Iwobi can he shoot again yes he can that's his hat trick for the youngster uh, brilliant from Alex Iwobi in this game 4-1 to Arsenal Madrid down to 10 men we must have missed that red card um, through to through the highlights and stuff like that but uh Ramsey into Goretzka. Goretzka, lovely interplay with Ramsey. And then he finds Iwobi. And Iwobi just hits it. Buffon had absolutely no chance. 4-1 to Arsenal. Game over now. And there we have it. The ref brings the game to a close. What a win for the boys. Danny Carvajal got sent off for a second yellow card. Just going to see what exactly happened then. So Marcello into Cristiano. Bellerin tackles him. Get the ball out to Kovacic. Kovacic into Benzema. Laporte, another good tackle. Kovacic again out to Bale, but Kolesniak's there and Laporte out to Lamar. Lamar was causing havoc on this right-hand side, doing Carvajal, and he just, I think he just dives in there. Yes, he does, trips him up, and that was his second yellow card for Danny Carvajal. And um, Lamar had to beat him of him pretty much all game long. So they, that's why they were down to 10 when we must have missed that because we we're making changes around that sort of time as well. And that's when the uh, the free kick came. So let's go to this team talk, talk to the uh, all the team. Play very, very well. Happy with the result there. Lovely win for us. Puts us top of the group stage. Um, we have to go to Madrid next. Roma beat Hapoel 3-0. And it puts us in the driving seat to qualify if we get at least a point away at Madrid. Going to praise Iwobi's uh, performance in that game. He was absolutely phenomenal. Um, he's just recently signed a new contract with us and he's getting better and better. He's three-star current ability. He can go to three-and-a-half star and he can play across that middle three, which is brilliant for us because we uh, we use a 4-2-3-1 uh, four, and he's playing really, really well so far this season. Another lad that we've had to bring up from the youth squad is Francis Opoku. He was in our regen day last season and... Uh, I didn't think he was going to really come into it until probably season three or four, if we got there, obviously. But because of the injuries that we've had in the middle of midfield, I've had to play him in uh, Carabao Cup games and also a couple of Premier League ties as well. And he's come on and done a really good job for us. He's had four appearances and a 6.9 uh, rating. He's only 16. And with the experience we're giving him now, he seems to be improving really, really well. Um, so he's going to, be in the, uh, going to be in the side for a little bit longer until we get all the, uh, all the key players back. Uh, but what we'll do now, we're going to forward ahead into the next game, which is against Villa. And uh, I'll see you when we get there. So we've had a little bit of uh, Brexit news. Um, apparently, no formal details yet to be confirmed, but some reports suggest there will be no changes to the current work permit system and no new restrictions on EU players. So should be status quo. little bit of a breaking news for you, and uh, we'll see you when we get to the Villa game. So the Villa game is upon us. They are in woeful form. Where do they find themselves? Find themselves 19th in the league. Three points from eight games. Haven't won a game so far this season. And uh, yeah, they've got El, El Mohamedi out uh, with a sports hernia. We've only got Utsil out with a uh, twisted ankle. So all in all, we're looking like we should do the business against Villa. This is going to be the team. We've got checking goal. Tierney comes in, as does Romagnoli and De Chilio. Only Laporte keeps his place in the side, just to give him a little bit of rotation. Xhaka keeps his uh, place, and we're going to bring Shiraro in as the box-to-box. -box. Lamar and Iwobi keep, and Lacazette all keep their places, and we're just going to bring Song Hyung min in on that right-hand side. On the bench, Mustafi, Bellerin, Kolesniak, Opoku, Berardi, Nelson, and Dembele, just giving the likes of Goretzka, Ramsey, and Wilshere a little bit of time off because uh, they've, uh, they've played a lot of games in the in the last two or three weeks because of all the injuries, all the little knocks that we've picked up with the amount of games that we play. They've got uh, they've got Hogan up top. Uh, if you know your lower league football, he's a bit of a demon in the lower leagues. Uh, scores goals for fun. Scott Hogan, um, I think he comes from Brentford. Uh, Adoma on the left, Gill on the right. 
Ki Sung Young and uh, Gil in the middle. Don't really know uh, Petr Petr Iconi. Don't really know him. But they've got uh, Taylor, Terry, Elphick and Chester as the back line. Other than Taylor, the other three are a little bit on the slow side. So our pace and movement up front might, uh, might be their undoing. We are in our red and white. They are in their chain strip of black. Uh, we're kicking from right to left in the first half. Uh, Hogan, a little bit of a knock. We've changed our uh, changed our squad up a little bit just to freshen things up, and hopefully it'll do us uh, do us some good. Lamar now whipping this ball in. Elfit gets the ball clear. Out to Storaro, into Granite Xhaka, into Romagnoli. Romagnoli, can he find Lacazette on this left hand side? Yes, he can. One on one, uh, but he's robbed it. But uh, Gill's giving away a penalty. Lacazette is going to step up once more. He missed one in midweek. Can he put us clear? Um, can he put us 1-0 up here? Can he do it? Yeah. Oh, Bettinelli saves. What a save. He must have something against Italian goalkeepers. It's two misses now in two games. Iwobi's picked up an injury. Who are we going to bring on for him? Um, can we do Berardi in the middle? Song Kyung min No, we'll put Lamar. Lamar in the middle. Berardi on the right. And uh, Lamar in the middle. Confirm those changes. Iwobi having a great game in midweek, but... Injured in this game. 27 minutes gone. Chung Min trying to get the ball in into Lacazette. Can he score the goal? No, he's going to whip it in again. A little bit heavy on the cross. Song Hyun Min picks it up. Romain Yoli. Oh, what a header that would have been. Oh, he needs to keep his head down there. Uh, coming in now. Final five minutes of the half. De Chilio on this uh, right hand side into Xhaka. Storaro into Lamar. Good quick football here from the uh, from the Arsenal. Lamar now going to drive forward. Loves a driving run into Song Hyun Min. Can he get the ball back? He can. Lacazette into Berardi. What a save. But Song Hyun Min is there to pounce. Bettinelli with an amazing save. I think it was against uh, I think it was against Lamar or Lacazette. And we'll see in the 3D. Here we go. Lamar just driving run into the heart of Villa's uh, defence. Song Hyun Min. Great uh, cutback. And it's uh, Lacazette into Berardi. Great save by Bettinelli from Berardi's shot. And Song Hyun Min is there to score the goal. 1-0 to the Arsenal. Lamar now going to whip this ball in into the back post. Lacazette's there. Thomas Lamar is amazing. He can literally do everything. Thomas Lamar, what a signing he's been. Come really good for us. Lamar whips that ball in. Lacazette, back post, unmarked. Great header from the Frenchman. 2-0 to the Arsenal. And I don't see Villa getting back into this. Lacazette, final couple of seconds of the game. Apoku's come on in the uh, central midfielder role and uh, passes it out to Song Hyun Min. Into Lamar. Lamar back to Storaro. And that is it. The final whistle has gone. 2 0 winners at, uh, against Villa at the Arsenal. Lacazette missed the second penalty in two weeks. Might have to look at switching up the, uh, the penalty takers for next time. But it's another good win for us. We'll see how City got on against Palace. They were drawing one apiece. Let's see how City gone, got on at full time now. Let's have a look into the uh, Premier League. City, hammered them. Absolutely destroyed them 5 2. Uh, they still stay three points uh, behind us. Tottenham won as well. Chelsea won. So the big guns are behind us. Bournemouth is up there still. A good win against Huddersfield. Who else? Who isn't having a good season out of the top? Liverpool down in ninth. Um, not having the greatest of seasons. But um, we are first. We're in the uh, champion. We're in top of our Champions League group. All in all, it's been a really positive episode yet again for this Arsenal save. We're going to be back pretty quickly. Actually, we're going to do Madrid away at uh, the Bernabeu. And then we're going to come back and do Chelsea at the uh, at the Emirates. That'll be in the next game. So we're going to play Burnley and Stoke offline. Both two away games. Two tough away fixtures for us. And then we're going to come back and do the Madrid and Chelsea games. But that is it for this episode. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I know there are a lot of new viewers out there. So if you like what you see, please do hit that sub button. It makes the channel grow. makes the channel worthwhile. And until next time, when we play Madrid and Chelsea, I'll see you soon.